I want to tell these things to my daughter, but I can't just tell her all the things that I believe and I know, because, I mean, that's borderline child abuse. You can't say that to a little kid. I'm not going to be able to sit her down when she's like four years old and go, all right, honey, come on, let's go get something to eat, and then we'll, uh, we'll go to the playground and uh, we'll go on the swings. And you know what? You're four years old. I think you're old enough to know this. Honey, you were born to a, a, a deeply and shamefully racist country, acquired through genocide and built by slave labor. It's apocryphal history, a crumbling muddle of lies and deceits. And Sweetheart, this profoundly shallow society you are now a part of is fueled by crass consumerism and narcissism and petty tribalism. And it worships money and status and uh, places the appearance of being right above basic human dignity. And Peanut, your leaders are duplicitous hypocrites who cynically use religion and nationalism to easily manipulate ignorant and fearful. Here comes the airplane. <laughs> Not up for debate, you know, but I can't, I can't just tell her that stuff. But there are things I want her to know that I think are important for her to know as she tries to navigate her way through this awful, awful world we're giving her. And, and there are certain things I think would be helpful for her. So what I do is at night when she's sleeping, I, I quietly go into her bedroom and I click on the little white noise machine that replicates the sound of the human heart, you know? And then I tell her these things. I whisper. So I go, Marlo, there is no God. that will be helpful for her as she goes through this life, especially if she's going to be raised in part by my wife and I. My, my, my wife is a, a, is a staunch, uh, very vocal feminist, <laughs> meaning she won't shut the f*** about it. Uh, and she, she's an amazing woman doing amazing work, and uh, uh, she's really incredible. And we're, and we're different people, you know, uh, uh, basically. And we had very different upbringings, you know. Uh, uh, she comes from a loving family. So, um, and, you know, I was, I, I, I had a pretty uh, childhood in, in uh, Roswell, Georgia, and, uh, and she's from Santa Monica, born and raised Santa Monica, California, and I, 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 which I can't stand. I don't like Santa Monica. 